Now that I have a skeleton of the newspaper, I'm going to do what is called packaging all the files that are included in the paper so far. Simple thing to do. From the file menu, select package. And now I give it a folder name. The current folder is spec April 2015 folder. So I'm going to move up one give it a name spec empty folder sounds good package now let's explore what went into those folders here was the original spec april 2015 folder when i go into the spec empty folder you will see a couple of subfolders one all the fonts that were included in the creation of this document. This is important. You have to have these installed on your local machine in order for Adobe InDesign to properly render the pages on screen as well as package them into a PDF later on down the road. The second folder is the links folder. Inside the links folder, here you will see all of the graphics as well as a file that was included as body copy for an article. Now, you will have Word documents. Here we have a PDF, but we have all the graphics that you can see there. These are all the files that went into the creation of the document. At this point, you could take this folder copy it onto a USB drive or share it with others who wish to work on the newspaper. Returning to InDesign, how can we see these files that are included in the creation of the newspaper from within Adobe InDesign? In the window menu, there is a links window. The links window shows all of the files that are included in this, this document, as well as the page numbers on which we can find those files. For example, the RSDI coat of arms, if I click on it once, down at the bottom, I can jump to that link with this little icon. It jumps to that page and zooms in up close. While we're here, it looks like this graphic is not rendering very well. If I click the view menu, and display performance, you'll see that it is currently displaying all objects with typical display. If I click on high quality display, then it renders the graphic image in a much better way. Let's go to the Pan Am Games graphic, jump to that, it zooms in on it, and then of course I can zoom out and view the whole thing. Now, one of the problems that can happen is if you lose a connection to a linked file. Let's see what happens then when I go to that folder and rename one of these files. For example, the Pan Am Games one. Let's rename that. Having renamed it, if I open the file again, I get this message here that there's a missing link. I can fix the links automatically if there's a way of finding the files within subfolders, but that's sometimes challenging. So I'll click don't fix. When I click on Pan Am Games, there's a question mark telling me that there's a problem finding this file. I can now try and relink to that file. It's asking me to go and searching for the link. I'll click on this object right here, which has been renamed Just Games. It's different than the old file. Yes, link to the new file name. The question mark disappears, but let's go check it. There it is.